Cleanliness is next to godliness. Did you know Jesus never said that? Benjamin Franklin actually made this popular in his book, Poor Richard's Almanac. Or how about Jesus wants you to be poor? After all, money is the root of all evil. Did you know Jesus never said that? He said the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. Money is in your hand, it is a tool. When it is in your heart, it is a sin. In this video, I'm going over five things that Jesus never said. I wanna clear this up today to not only give you a better understanding about Jesus, but also to stop you from learning false information. And the last thing is by far the most craziest that people believe, watch this till the end. So you're not walking around looking like a fool. Number one, Jesus never said to follow your heart. In fact, many people think following your heart or trusting your gut is something that's biblical or something that's like, you know, trust within type thing. Like this is even talked about in church circles. But in Jeremiah 17, 9, 10, it actually says, the heart is deceitful above all things. So don't trust your heart. Jesus never said to trust your heart or follow your heart or do what you think is right. Number two, Jesus never said be true to yourself or believe in yourself. But in Matthew 16, 24, he did teach us to deny ourselves, pick up our cross and follow him daily and crucify our flesh. Your confidence should never be within yourself or believing in yourself or thinking you're something great, that's pride. Your confidence should be believing what's in you, the Holy Spirit and believing in Jesus and trusting in him. And number three, this one gets a lot of people tied up. Jesus never said, as long as you're happy, that's all that matters. God wants you to be happy and the Bible says that he wants to reward you with the desires of your heart for those that diligently seek him, okay? But it's not just about being happy and, and indulging in sinful pleasures as well. It's about glorifying him. In fact, Jesus even said, what would it profit a man to gain the whole world but lose his soul? In other words, you get everything but you lose your soul. I mean, and you're gonna spend eternity in hell. That's not gonna matter in the long run. He wants you to see things from a heavenly perspective and a godly perspective for advancing the kingdom of heaven, not a selfish earthly perspective. And number four, this one is gonna really just wreck a lot of religious people. Jesus never said to be poor or that it's a sin to have money. This often comes out of Matthew when he was talking to the rich young ruler, when he said, given like, um, I bought people things, I followed the commandments, I did all these things, what, must, what else must I do to be like perfect? And Jesus said, give all your money away to the poor and follow me. Now, he was talking to one guy that was not his teaching. He was an answer to this guy's question because he knew this guy loved money. And you cannot serve God in money. The love of money leads to roots of all kinds of evil, not just having money. Because while he did speak about the love of money being evil, he did say that God loves a cheerful giver. We have to have money to help prosper others. You know, we have to be blessed first to be a blessing to others, right? The Bible also says that if a man doesn't provide for his own family, especially those within his own household, he is worse than a non-believer. It also says if you don't work, you don't eat. Now, not if you can't work. If you don't work, you don't eat, okay? So if you can't work or there's some underlying thing there, this does not apply to you. Number five, this is the one that causes so much just arguing with so many people. Jesus never said, I get you as you are, stay as you are. Like, the whole he gets us thing, Jesus never said that. Now, I do wanna make this very clear in a biblical context. Jesus does get you where you're at, like wherever you're at, come as you are, like just walk in the church as you are. You don't get it all right, get your life right, you know, whatever that means, get right with God, then come to Jesus. So many people get this wrong, and I even believed this lie for years, it's a huge lie of the devil that you gotta get right, you gotta quit drinking, doing all this stuff, like get right, then you can come to Jesus. That's like getting clean, then getting in the shower. It's a dumb analogy, right? Because it's not, it makes no sense. It's the same thing with this. And here's a good example. A woman that was caught in adultery was brought before Jesus. He didn't say stone her. Now he was the only perfect one, but after he said, okay, if you want to stone her with these stones and like, you know, torture her, then go ahead. But the, the one that has committed no sin cast the first stone. When everyone left, he committed no sin. Now he didn't cast any stone. He said, where are your accusers? Hasn't one been left standing to accuse you? And she said, no. He said, well, neither do I. He didn't stone her. He didn't be literal, but he did give her a commandment and say, okay, I forgive you. I don't condemn you either, but go and sin no more. He didn't say, just do what you want, follow your heart, explore your sexuality. Okay. So he does get you where you're at, but you don't stay where you're at. Through the transformation power of the Holy Spirit, he transforms you and you are a new creation in Christ. There's no condemnation in Christ Jesus from your past, but you do have to change and have a radical shift by not doing more, but surrendering to the Holy Spirit, honoring God, following Jesus daily, and doing your best to abide in him. I hope that wasn't too heavy for you. If you've ever heard anything, people say Jesus said, but he never did. You know, it's a blatant lie. 
Go ahead and put it in the comments below. And speaking of heaviness, have you ever felt like a burden or anxiety or just have some mental health issues? These things are on the rise. God has given us clear biblical wisdom of how to overcome anxiety. And I break it down in this video right here. Go ahead and click on that. I guarantee this will help you. Thank you for watching.